Hi and welcome to A World of Words. Today's video is a video challenge entry for the biannual Bibliothon Friday video challenge, Booktube's Got Talent. So for this video, you're basically just supposed to show off something that you're good at. So I thought about this because there were a couple different things I wanted to incorporate into this video. I decided to title my talent. Title my talent is kind of a tongue twister. Um, as creating characters. So the first way that I'm going to show you that I create characters is by drawing. So I have been actively buying drawing books and practicing how to draw for about 12 years now. I started out with an uh, interest anime, so I mostly bought anime drawing books and I just love drawing people in general. I love drawing their outfits. I love coming up with different characters. I also am an aspiring author. I hope to be published someday. So one of the things that I really enjoy drawing are my characters from my books. I also recently realized that I can draw Disney characters and as well as anime characters. I primarily draw original characters. Um, I also really like anything fantasy, so I love to draw dragons and things like that. Aside from the obvious Ariel and Eric from The Little Mermaid, all these characters are my own original characters that I've created. And if you're curious about what I use to color them, I use the Copic markers, which are professional grade drawing markers. They're pretty pricey, but as you can see, the results are really worth it because they just look so bright and they almost look as bright as if they're colored on the computer. I also color on the computer sometimes, but I feel it and I just kind of prefer to draw by hand. Another way that I like to create characters is making plushies of my characters. <laughs> These are two of the main characters of a book that I've actually completed and finished writing and that I'm kind of in the query stage of. If any of you watch anime and they have those cute little anime plushies of different characters and they're super pricey, they cost like $14 each and it's always just kind of been a goal of mine to make them my own characters. I finally found a really good video tutorial on YouTube that um, I guess I should probably link below. It's actually a series of videos but I'll just link you to one of them and from there you can get all the other ones and that video has a link to a website where they have a pattern which is what I used. Uh, the, head is, the head is cut out of this pattern but yeah it's basically a pattern and you trace and they're made out of they're made out of felt so you trace them and then you cut them out and you sew them together the only thing i changed from the pattern is the eyes the tutorial calls for drawing and ironing on the faces but my mom said it would last a lot longer if i sewed it by hand so they are hand embroidered the faces 
Uh, this one's Kira. She turned out a little bit better. She's the second one I made. I made, I made Tess first. And while I think she is pretty good, especially for my first attempt at ever sewing a face, uh, she turned out pretty good. But I feel like Kira, her, her features just turned out a little bit better, a little bit more rounded, a little bit cuter. So I'm really pleased with the way these guys turned out and I just love them so much. I'm going to make a bunch more, but right now I cannot. And then here's the back of her hair. It's actually layered. I'll put two layers of it. That's another thing I changed from the pattern. The pattern just had one piece of hair like hers, which is just one long piece of hair. But for her, she has a layered kind of curly hairstyle. So I decided to add two layers to it and make her hair pretty curly. And the dress, I also sewed the dress. <laughs> the dress is uh, a little funny looking because it's like my first attempt at sewing a little doll dress. And then I sewed her little outfit, which is supposed to be a blazer and like little sequin shorts. But yeah, I'm actually really proud of them. I keep them displayed because they're just so cute and I really love them. So that was it for this entry. I really hope you enjoyed seeing some of my drawings and seeing my little creation. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see other people's entries. Have a great day. Bye.